We are back. We are back. Everyone, my resolutionaries, thank you for being here. Uh, let's jump back into it. Hitting buttons. All buttons, I believe, have promptly been pushed. Other than that one needs to be pushed. Get that music going again. Oh, yeah. Get that battery park music. Okay. And currently on this one. Yes, that's correct. Here we are. I have a lot of buttons, and I need to remap a lot of them as well. <laughs> okay. So, Castle Clinton. It is under, not under siege, we're sieging it, actually. Um, I'm gonna get the NSF out of there. Monument for the United States Navy. The old, we run faster but walk slower thing. Because I want you to keep up but not get left behind. Weaponry! Shotgun shells! I'm gonna close the doors if I can. Oh! That closed immediately. Perfect. We've got your back, Agent. Oh, the guests. Ambrosia is somewhere inside the castle. They won't get far if they try to escape. Castle Clinton. I've never been here before. Alright, so just a few things to point out about this level, because I remember this too and I love this level. Um, you can walk through the front and just do the whole shooty shooty thing, which is often a fun thing to do. Now you'll see that there's all these kind of indentations. We can talk to a lot of the people, give us hints about things. Let's see. What does this guy have to say? Some of them. Let me get in your way, officer. Some of them are less than helpful. I'm right here if you need me. Some more ammo for things we're never gonna use. Uh, use this box. So now this is where, having gotten the other augmentation, we would have been able to pick up some of these heavy boxes, or at least push them out of the way so that we could get in through that side there. But we're not doing that route. Not today. Look at that. Don't have nobody at the side entrance. NSF can just walk away. Uh, so that's what she's referring to anyway, is that, uh, that spot we just looked at. At least I think. There's another side door, I would love to know about it. Um, but if we come on back to where we started here, I'm gonna do the sneaky sneaky route. There's a child. Actually, I think I could access it anyway, but... Starving. Do you have anything to eat? You don't look that bad. Tell me what you know about the NSF. <laughs> How about some soy food? How about some soy food? Don't matter. I just need something in my stomach so I can fall asleep. Oh no. There you go. Do you have a place to stay? I sleep out on the dock where they unload the speedboats. Oh. Speedboats? Speedboats. Is that how the NSF get their supplies? I don't know. They're always coming in and out of the tunnel behind the soda machine. Interesting. I spy on them from the crates. The code is 9183. Clever boy. Thanks for the snack, Clever Mister. Clever boy. It's the least I can do. I was gonna say clever. Clever girl. Alright. But yeah, we do at least need to hack, or we need to lockpick this sucker to get in. Feeding random kids on the street for code 9183. Excellent. Police! Right, actually, hold on. Oh, my hands are full. There we go. We can. Well, that did not work out. I wanted to litter a bit. Is it. Is it not? There we go. Now we've littered. Now we're in the water. Thought there was. Was for the yes, there it is. Some of my memories are coming back. Oh, this game is so dark. Thematically and just environmentally. More lockpicks. Excellent. I'm using that flashlight a lot.
Boatman! Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Oh, he, can't, he doesn't talk to us. Alright. Looks like these tunnels head toward Castle Clinton. I can't find them on the map, though. Their secret. Already hearing footsteps. Mm. Don't know that we can get through that. Spot two tools. Ooh. Oh, prod charger. Try to save some of that energy. Save for safety. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Uh, so I don't have space to pick up, so I can't. That's that's one of the things about this game that isn't the best is that you can't pick up people if they still have stuff on them and if your inventory is full you can't pick up the stuff so yes we're gonna stuff this man in here just finished up working on a thing on to tinker with my new raspberry pi and poke fun at your mistakes look at you over here making fun of me that's what i like to hear i love some good old rasm Camera, another dude up there. We're just gonna try and sidestep a lot of this. I'm trying to listen for him. Up there, multi tool. At least it's not a book. Oh! That worked out way better than I expected. <laughs> what happens when you put all your talent in the, the melee weapons? Alright. Ammo six. camera. I thought there's normally a door there. Maybe it's further ahead. Do I not have Q set to... <laughs> Wait a minute. I have E set to lean. What is Q? <laughs> Did I change Q? Or maybe it was never... Right, it's not controls, it's keyboard and mouse. Q set to something else? Change ammo I have set to Q. Oh. 
Uh, is V anything? Single quote or that, and then lean left. There we go. It's a little bit more normal. reach it. Well, we can walk around it. Depending on what we need to do in here. As long as it only sees you for a second. Agent Navarre will describe your next assignment and there stay behind to protect the Ambrosia. Look for her out front. Alright, so basically... Yeah, so alarms don't get set off immediately on cameras. They have to see you for a little bit before you can uh, set off an alarm. Now, door's locked. You're inside the kiosk of Castle Clinton. The bulk of the NSF troops must have gone through here to get underground. I live down here now. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that key was for that I got earlier. Oh, it's still locked. <gasps> can't stop me. Found the objective. And I can't remember. Nope, they're still awake. Much else up to this complex. It's pretty simple. Yeah, I don't think the. Oh, where am I? I don't think a cavalry necessarily comes in until uh, after if they go in at all. As long as you find the ambrosia, I think you're good. terrorist. Awesome. Let's do it there. Huzzah! Alright, I guess we just go talk to Anna now. Oh, look! Syme! Good old Zyme. A vial of Zyme brewed up in some basement lab. Basically cocaine. Somebody kill me. Anybody? It's most Americans now. I'm sorry. I can't kill you. Please. <laughs> Go to a public clinic. They can do something for the pain. Oh, she's mad. It's true. <laughs> it's your whole body. Every cell. You have the Grey Death? I can't make it. I just can't make it. You were too gentle with the NSF, but I cannot complain. You completed the objective. At least you are not a coward like Paul. <laughs> you mechs have copper wiring to reroute your fear of pain, but I've got nerves of steel. I'm, I'm learning, learning as, as I go. We'll be you humble. You just passed lesson one. Lesson two is how we deal with the terrorists in the subway station. I'm ready. The terrorists have wired the platform with explosives and put in hostages. Get the hostages out if you can, but make sure the NSF learned that human shields will not work against you, Natco. Nothing we can't handle with a few EMP grenades. We are thinking the same thought. I will equip you with two grenades. They will hmm. disable any electronic detonators within a radius of 20 meters. I can't carry anything else right now. Oh no. Those are better than gold, though. Um, oh, we'll drink some wine and drop the flamethrower. I cannot wait all night. Take the hardware. Uh, perfect. Okay, we're no longer drunk. All right. Got my trank darts out. We're ready to go. So I believe there should be more NSF. There they are. Uh, 
Come on. Run away. Tranquilizers take time. Run. They'll get tired eventually. That's why it's called a tranquilizer. I got five credits for someone who's got the gray death. Sure. Here you go. God bless you. Uh. Well. Our country tis the sweet land of liberty of the icing. Keep singing. Oh, he does keep singing. <laughs> All right. Gonna trank him. One terrorist at a time. A lot of dead people here already. I think there is a firefight that goes on here. But it went on earlier. I think we missed it. And it looks like the NSF won. Come on. I don't know if I hit him or not. I really don't. <laughs> so much fun dude it's just fun to run around and pick stuff up talk to people and... they're still there <laughs> I don't think there's too much exciting going on on the inside I can't remember I have some ammo and stuff I think there's a kid in there too you can talk to he'll give you a code for the yeah I think you have to put in actually I think the code's literally 666 to get into the uh, their compound from the front This is this is the aiming when you have no skills. I think I'm getting worse. <laughs> got the five credits, come on. Pull through, you've got to. Okay. We've either killed or let all of our friends die. Actually, sounds like there's someone else in here. Shoot. We'll just beat him. Beat him to death! Oh, wow, that worked. Unconscious in one hit. I don't like that. All right. Sodas and beers. We're here to party. Uh, found a body. Man, all the NSF have more stuff than my UNACO allies. Lockpick. Oh, we walked over a rat. That's too bad. Oh, I'm full up on sodas. That. Someone there? Crap, crap, crap. <gasps> oh, we're tap dancing. Goodness. <gasps> more prod chargers there. I don't remember that. Didn't find anything. Vents. Alright, I really don't have any explosives, do I? Oh, I do. I have one lamb. That's what I got. Um, I don't really need all this stuff. I'm gonna just... Oh, it healed through. Did I already heal up? Oh, that was already enough. Oh, yeah, because it does two, two points of health. Two points of health. Caroline, how goes it? We are running around trying to free up New York of terrorists. But peacefully, we're not killing them. We're being nice. Being friendly, friendly, friendly people. That's what we're trying, anyway. It's pretty sure that... I mean, I know with... There's a certain weapon you can get further down the line that lets you break through, like, doors and chests and stuff with. But I don't think you can really... Ow. 
You can burn yourself on the fire. The burning barrels. Uh, but I don't think I can actually break through a chest with this. Shine holes in people's houses. Where is it? There's one. Yeah. How much do we care? Probably not enough. It's a bunch of homeless people stuff, right? It's probably just ammo. Okay. So, here's the subway station. Which has all <laughs> these terrorists in it. So, obviously, we can get in a fight directly. But since that's not the MO we're going for, we can sneak around through these tunnels. And let's go over here. I don't remember which. They end up all around this little subway station. I don't remember which one this is. Actually, no. Oh, well, that leads to the other vent we were just in. Ugh. Ew. Very much ew. So yeah, just walking in the in the darkness, among sewage and other things. Oh, don't see me. Please don't see me. So the problem with this hostage situation is that they will start shooting really quick if they see you. And they don't care what they're shooting at, so they will they will hit explosives. And it ends you and other people very quickly. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. Sir, who are you? I'm a UNATCO agent. Uh oh, they as saw me. As I open the train doors, I need you both to be ready to run on board. Okay. <laughs> Get in. Can you see anything? Neither can I. And I'm dead. <laughs> All right, quick load. That conversation took way too long. Ah, this is a long ass shift. The terrorists working shifts. Sir. Oh. I saw somebody. Primary goal complete. Yes. Good work. The hostages will be all right. Now take the train to Hell's Kitchen and report to your brother. All right, real quick, we're gonna try something. How do you... Oh, I forgot to drop things. Okay, it's right click. This is gonna hurt me real bad, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. Who's lockpicking that one? Alright. We're not killing people. Role play. That's how it goes. I heard something. No, you didn't. It's fine. This is how stealth works, you guys. People aren't that bright. It's okay. I swear I heard something. <laughs> he said all clear. I know I heard something. I didn't though. It's fine. Just give me the lockpick. I want it. There we go. <laughs> all clear. Intelligence, man. Intelligence is hard. Oh, I need. Can I make a distraction? Keep we're keeping that lockpick. <laughs> okay, that guy was interested. Wait, quiet. I swear I heard something. I know I heard something. Quiet. I think we got cops. What makes you say that? That all the hostages left? Get in. Yes. Now we're in a different uh, subway station. You 
saved my life. Yeah. How's it look on the street? Here? How's what look? Fighting. Is it heavy? The cops told me to take cover in the bar or come down here. They've got the NSF surrounded in the Ton Hotel. Hostages? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. Jeez. People are not friendly. They were gonna blow the whole place up. Us, them, everything. The city's lit up, man. Yeah. Beer. I'll be okay. Thanks. Oh, other hostages. I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? Cool. Beer. Soda. They're maniacs. Complete maniacs. Okay. Gonna get some money. Why not? It is New York. You're not wrong. It's not like a nice, peaceful place like Boston. Lol. Alright, folks. Take out that there money. Public access terminal. Actually, we didn't read the public access terminal in UNATCO, but it mostly just says the NSF are bad. UNATCO's good. Water advisory. We'll probably read it when we go back, actually. Residents of Manhattan and Brooklyn should be aware the last week's chlorine spill in the Hudson River now appears to have washed ashore and is interfering with the operation of at least one water processing plant. While the impact upon the city's utilities is currently unclear, water rationing rules may need to be instituted within the next week. Under no circumstances should any resident drink, bathe, or swim in contaminated water. If you or someone you know comes in contact with contaminated water, then go to the nearest available hospital or clinic. Brooklyn Naval Yards completes subpen. In a ceremony held earlier today, the venerable Brooklyn Naval Yards christened a new state-of-the-art subpen. New York Senator Clark Ashton was in the attendance, as was industrialist Bob Page, whose subsidiaries handled many of the contracts for the construction of the new building. Uh, this is certainly a great day for New York, said Page in a brief speech to commemorate the occasion. New York is, in many ways, the symbolic center of America, an example to not only the rest of the country, but the world. As long as New York remains mindful of its past, but dedicated towards realizing its future, this will never change. This building is only small, but significant. This is only a small, but a significant step in the continual renewal of the city, and Page Industries is glad to be part of that, aka Amazon. Battery Park is closed until further notice. We were just there. Due to unidentified terrorist action, Battery Park will be closed to all unauthorized personnel until further notice. Local police working in conjunction with UNATCO are currently in process of dealing with the threat, but according to UNATCO head Joseph Manderley, the situation is strictly minor, but at any time the potential exists for civilian casualties. We must proceed with caution. Be suspicious. Be, yeah, be safe, be suspicious. Wonderful. Terrorism, this is all about outing your neighbors, man. All about the apps and the things to track everyone. But anyway, terrorism, terrorism has become an unfortunate fact of the life, not only New York, but the country at large. A direct assault on our communities and our way of life that leaves citizens struggling to find answers to difficult questions. Not the least of which is, what can I do to prevent such atrocities? How can I help? Quite simply, terrorism is successful because terrorists are able to pass unnoticed and unremarked upon but they fail to count on the best intelligence network ever devised, the American people. How can you tell who might be a terrorist? Look for the following characteristics. A stranger or foreigner. Perfect. Argumentative, especially about politics or philosophy. Twitter, where are you at? Probing questions about your work, particularly high tech. Spends a greater than average amount of time on the net. <laughs> Still called the net, don't worry. Uh, interests in chemistry, electronics, or computers large number of mail order deliveries <laughs> taking photographs of major landmarks and those are just a few if you're suspicious then turn them in to your local law enforcement for a thorough background check be safe better safe than sorry you and your neighbors will sleep more securely knowing you're watching each other's backs that's just public access information for anybody who needs it paul what's the situation here you're taking over i've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse what about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. The old safe Maybe tavern. I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets, and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, 
Here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, Just right? Just like the movies. Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. Love everyone's stretched, stretched JPEG face. <laughs> There's a body line here. Use reasonable force like you did on Liberty Island. I've got to assemble my team. Talk to me. You get moving. Okay. Uh. We got a prod, we got trank starts, we got a baton. Most importantly, we got crowd controlling gas grenades. We're getting reports of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you so stayed with east. Paul, did you meet Mr. Right. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Denton, hey, it's Denton. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that mm. gonna do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? Yeah. Sure. Hand them over. Here you go, with my compliments. Good luck. Gas grenades. It might, might have just been one. There's a few. Oh, I don't. So the problem is, that sometimes comes up, is right click is pick everything up, but it's also put away your weapons, so it uh, does that. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm going to want to use one of these here in a second. There we are. Gas grenades! Everybody start coughing. Save, by the way. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love trying to trying to non-lethally kill people or non-lethally take them down. Oh, that was you, Naku guy. <laughs> Killed him or I knocked him out, so we have arrests. Arrests have been made. Oh, key. Oh, not if I smack him in the face first. Go get over there. Come on. Oh, JC. There we go. Oh, almost saved your life with slapping you in the back of the head. That's too bad. All right. We tried. We tried. Also, getting super out of focus. Super out of focus. We're gonna live with it till it, it'll fix itself. All clear. What if that poor guy I slapped is okay with me now? <laughs> I slapped a, I totally hit a Unaco agent, and it was hilarious. He had a shotgun. Get some buckshot. Ooh. Commander Frey Froz. Unaco has regrouped more quickly than expected and is beginning to coordinate assault on the position, on our position along with local police. They will certainly overrun our defenses eventually, but they may be delayed until the next phase of the mission can be completed. Your men will be responsible for guarding the tunnels leading to the generator, uh, generation station. The generation station of our nation. Dig in and arm all available automatic defenses. I don't need to let you... I don't need to tell you what's at stake. Good luck. JL. We'll take it from here. Getting more keys. Some are dead, but some are just knocked out. Also, the Anaco guys don't seem to get too mad if you if you get caught in one of if they get caught in one of their gas grenades there. This is huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know the code for this one. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Does this always happen? I thought you were supposed to Cuz it's Osgood and Sons, right? Yeah, it's Osgood and Sons imports. 
I don't if, think we should hold back in a situation like if this. If I remember correctly, I thought it's supposed to... That door's supposed to be, like, completely locked and you can't get through it until... But they just came spilling out of it and then it, it didn't close up again. Maybe, maybe it exploded. I don't know. I'm gonna try this one more time. There we go. That's better. Ish. It's gonna freak out a little bit again. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, let's look, let's go to the, the Ton. The Hilton, but the What's ton. your business here, Agent? Just going up to my brother's room. Uh, you better hold off. The NSF retreated in there about half an hour ago, and they've taken hostages. We're waiting on a specialist. I'm your specialist. Just tell I'm me where the hostages specialist. are being held. No one's standing in your way, but you'll have to go in alone. Our orders are to hold the perimeter. We think the terrorists are on the second floor. Carry on, Corporal. Agent? Effective crowd control? What's that supposed to mean? Means I gas people. Sorry, he's a little worked up. He's a little worked up. A little frustrated. Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. Alright, plenty of warnings. We do have a fire escape, though. This side, yes. There we go, perfect. Alright, exploration bonus. Oh, you can't go up to the roof, huh? <laughs> Alright. Actually. Oh yeah, we're in we're in enemy territory now because there's a hostage situation in the building. Alright, um let's just let's just down eight beers. What could go wrong? Perfect. All right. We're just gonna drunkenly stumble around my brother's apartment. Oh, okay, that's a wall. Oh, can we read books while drunk? Oh, it, it ain't great. The attention span of a drunk person reading a book is not great. Oh wait, do we hit? Oh no, the swirls are too big. Let's uh, shower. Okay, that's helping. Okay. All right. Um, wash our face here. Oh hey, this mirror works. Excellent. Alright. Is there... Oh, medkit. Perfect. Perfect for drunk JC Denton. Okay, here we go. Put on some fresh clothes. Oh, jeez. Okay, bedtime. Um, does not look very comfortable. Oh, it was already on. Ooh! My brother's secret stash of... 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 350 credits. Awesome. Alright. I need to use a flashlight because I'm too drunk to see. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna waste some water. Um oh more soda. Oh. I need more snacks. Come on. Come on. Can't pick it up, but I can push it. Oh, that's a nice toaster. We got there, Paul. There we go. Alright, there we go. Some soy. Okay, the drunk is worn off. Alright, I'm gonna stop wasting water. Oh wow, the shower's all the way over here. I thought it was over there. Oh jeez. Ah, an extra closet. Okay. Quick note, if you need any help with work, check the painting on the wall and count back from four. Gotta run, Paul. Vishnu's Fall, A Brief History of the Indian Crisis. Why not? After the bombing, Indian officials issued a series of stern warnings to Pakistan that they that were rebuffed with denials of responsibility and dire threats that any attempt to use the bombings as a pretext for military action would be met with force in kind. From the viewpoint of the present-day histographer, this was a crucial event, a game of br brinksmanship? that had been played between Pakistan and India many, many times before. And so, while tragic, it is also easily understood how clear signs of the impending catastrophe might have been ignored. Like two kids shoving each other on the playground, said historian Alistair Brooks, you never expect them to come to blows. That was before Pakistan began the trials of the Calcutta 16, and both nations descended into a maelstrom of political upheaval that would eventually culminate in the exchange of nuclear warheads. Holy crap, we had nukes going in the Middle East and India. Focus. Focus. All right. All right, so there's been nuclear war. 
Do I still have water running? I don't. CIA Factbook 2050, Hong Kong edition. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll shoot, I'll go with this. This is great. Uh, economic overview. In the decades since Hong Kong has been returned to Chinese control, it has seen its... <laughs> I should have I should have played this and read this a few months ago. This is great. Um, <laughs> in the decades since Hong Kong has returned to the Chinese control, it has seen its economy thrive under the newly resurgent authority of the Chinese central government. Led by thriving technological market and human augmentation technology, the real GDP has peaked every year since 2041. With all forecasting models predicting that this trend will continue well into the next decade, if not beyond. However, statistics do not present any entirely accurate depiction of the state of Hong Kong economy as they fail to depict the flourish gray and black market that operates with at least the tacit approval of the Beijing regime. While political oppression continues to present a major and ongoing problem to those living under Chinese rule, entrepreneurism is alive and well in the form of organized crime. As has always been the case, anything and everything can be had for a price in Hong Kong. Many of these criminal organizations can trace their lineage directly to the triads that have existed for thousands of years throughout China and Southeast Asia. All right. All right. The painting. Count backwards from four, four, three, two, and one. Can't even see it without the flashlight. Here we go. Everyone's secret 90s weapons closet. All right, we got health kits. We got 10 millimeter ammo. We got ballistic armor. Biocells, multi-tools, take all those. Call doesn't need anything. If you hit this button, you can just lock yourself in. Nice and safe, it even squishes you a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Just enough standing room, no chair, and you can you can't, can't even move side to side that much. You can uh, eat your candy bar, and you can look at uh, all this information on the screen. <laughs> this is the best way to uh, hide out during the uh, during riots. <laughs> hey Rez, didn't have a chance to get you on your own net account, so feel free to use mine in the meantime. Login: P Denton. Password: Chameleon. Chameleon. Make yourself at home, and I'll see you soon. P. P. Denton Chameleon. Is that spelled right? It is. Sweet Charity. Miss you. What? I left a message for you on your machine, but wanted to follow up. With both of us traveling, it's hard to get together, isn't it? I miss you so much. I'll make it up to you when you get back. Oh, wait. Your brother's staying with you, isn't he? We'll just... <laughs> well, you just wait until you're alone. We'll get things, uh, we'll work things out. Promise. Kisses. Sweet charity. From Kvark. Hello, friend. Has life become too impersonal, too tedious, too painful for you? Then now it is time to exert control to make a decision, which is ultimately the only real choice we have, we ever have. The decision to die. Oh, it's Dr. Kvorkian. Oh. <laughs> Some may describe this as an act of selfishness. <laughs> But with the dwindling reserve of natural resources throughout the world, you're actually contributing to the well-being of all those around you. A recent bill passed by the United States Congress even authorizes a one-time payment of 10,000 credits to your chosen benefactor upon passing away. So do yourself and your family and your friends a favor and visit any one of the Kavork Inc. clinics in the neighborhood near you. We'll help you make a difference quickly and quietly. Sincerely, Derek Schmidt. Dr. Kevorkian was- Oh, my flashlight was on and I ran out of energy. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> I signed out now too. Um, Dr. Kevorkian, for anybody who doesn't know, was a doctor who would uh, uh, basically give you a lethal injection and kill you. I think it was back in the 70s? I can't remember. Uh, I wasn't alive at the time, so I didn't- uh, Oh, I spelled that way wrong. Um, so I, it's not like I had uh, the knowledge of it when it happened. Settled in yet? Hey Rez, I thought I'd help you unload your boxes, but I'm tied down trying to get to one of the medical analyzer, medi getting one of the medical analyzers working, damn thing nearly lays it off one of my fingers, catch you later for a beer maybe, network administrator. This did not reach the following recipient, to Juan. Unable to deliver a message due to communications failure, New York. 
Torin type Ada. Unknown recipient. Message as follows. I'm definitely worried about the test results. There are some implications that I'm afraid to pursue too much further. I'll talk to Tracer. Proceed with caution. P. Classic movies. Mr. Denton, we've received your order for Blue Harvest and see you next Wednesday at your earliest possible convenience. Please remit... Oh, 110 uh, credits, at which point they will be shipped immediately. Thanks for your business, Marcy Pelloid Vibrant Videos. Sooner or later, they're just going to find us. All right, we've been renting movies. Cool. All right. We need to uh, recharge some of our energy there. Actually, I could find a bot to recharge it, but that's okay. Actually, let's do a... Let's do a big save too. Uh, yeah. All right. I have the key, right? Yeah. Oh, the newspaper. <laughs> yeah, the local newspaper. Let's see. Bellevue reports increase in admittance. <laughs> this is this is actually it's kind of sad and sick because New York experienced the worst of the coronavirus. Well, let's read this. Bellevue Hospital has reported 50% increase in the number of patients admitted over the last three months compared to the same period last year. A disturbing trend, said Dr. James Cabell, and one that's stressing our personnel to the limits. Many of those admitted are homeless that the police can't or won't deal with, some of them afflicted with the gray death. We simply don't have the facilities to deal with those cases, and most of the hospitals refuse to accept them. Many have linked the outbreak of mental illness to the recent rise in recreational drug use, in particular, the new designer drug Zyme. Speaking on condition of anonymity, one public official said that Zyme has simply become a threat to public welfare. There have been discussions with Washington on a zero tolerance solution. Others have suggested a chemical contamination could be the culprit, citing the recent chlorine spill that has rendered the East River almost lifeless. That's right, we read about that. Oh, shoot. Help! Oh, you jerk! Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang it, I thought I had it. Okay. Shh. Shh, we can do this. We're gonna save some hostages. I don't know how someone looking the other way saw me. But I guess it's the it's the help. chick that's calling out for help. Oh, he kills him. Mm. What if I have to? Maybe my my best way of doing this is to make noise. Hmm. Guess if I do this, no one sees me. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. There's a rat. Ooh. Yeah. That's crazy. I remember being able to do this silently. What if I trank him? I could gas the whole room. But they will have time to kill people at that point, so. And these tranks take way too long. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some shots and he might kill people first. Help! That's him. He's a cop. Watch out. Got <laughs> Headshot at me. Alright. It's not the worst plan right there. Okay. I want to do this. Come on. Try and chem smack the other. Because he gets hurt enough to run, so. At least he did last time. Oh, dang it. Got him. What if I. Sh okay, shoot him, and then we. Uh, and then we don't. Uh, we don't run. Silently walk. Maybe he'll be okay with his friend freaking out. Oh, you jerk! Okay. Thanks. You're good. You're good. Someone's still watching TV in their room. That's that's kosher. Okay. Trying to catch my breath. Ammo. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? You Natco. Yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it, how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. 
They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. Righteous. That's very helpful. Thanks. Righteous. I don't think there's other. I can't remember if there's oh, other. Oh, that was a goner. Other security people in here. What does it say? Thank you for choosing NYFF. Oh yeah, we're excited about your business, all that, but the, what I care about is that account number. Then again, I don't need it, I can hack. Pin number is 5544 for your protection. We recommend that you do not share this information anymore with the thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You just about saved my life. Right, we're gonna... You saved my life! I know, I know. Oh, wait. They actually booby-trapped this... this part of the building, didn't they? I thought I remember there being, like, a grenade on a wall in here or something. We'll come back to it. You saved my life. Oh, poor guy's got a broken robot. Wait, quiet. No, there's a guy. There's a man. They call me a fascist. There we go. I was gonna say, I remember loosely there being a moment where you could talk to this guy and there was a guy, like, with a gun to him, and he would be talking to you, but, like, the guy would come around and try and shoot you after. You all right, Mr. Renton? But dang. Fine, I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs, right? Yeah. How's your daughter? Is she somewhere safe? I don't know. She's been gone all week. I try not to think about it. Tonight's a bad night to be on the streets. I'll take a look around. Hey, if you see Sandra, tell her I don't care. I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions. No speeches. Sure. Sure. Paul Dunton. Got people from Denmark and Copenhagen. Even uh, Los Angeles. Sandra. Steal a key for that room upstairs. Steal 50 bucks. Yep, the hospital. The man who was Thursday. First of all, what is it really about? What is it? What is it that you object to? You want to abolish government? To abolish God, said Gregory, opening the eyes of a fanatic. Opening the eyes of a fanatic. We do not only want to upset a few uh, despotisms and police regulations. The sort of anarchism. This sort of anarchism does not exist, but is a mere branch of nonconformists. Um, we dig deeper and we blow you higher. We wish to deny any. We wish to deny all those arbitrary distinctions of vice and virtue, honor and treachery, upon which mere rebels base themselves. The silly sentimentals, sentimentalists of French Revolution talked of the rights of man. We hate rights and we hate wrongs. We have abolished right and wrong. And right and left, said Syme with the simple eagerness. I hope you will abolish them too. They are much more troublesome to me. Interesting. Okay. This is the, the way to the, the ladder. I right, jump on this and break it. Yeah. Multi tool. Oh, seizure warning, everybody. Yeah, there's no mines in here, thankfully. At least on this floor. Is there anything up here? Multi tool. That looks like about it. Also, fall damage can be a serious kill in this game, so you don't want to fall. Sorry, Mr. Rat. Oof. Yeah, he got crushed. Uh... You saved my life. I'm gonna wait here till things settle down. Room service. Same newspaper? No, it's not. Have you been saved? Oh goodness. The Net Church of God. The exact location of the crypt is closely guarded, but rest easy knowing that they're protected by miles of rock somewhere beneath the Appalachian Mountains. Even in the event of a ca catastrophe, biblical or otherwise, an auxiliary nuclear generator will ensure that your soul checksum is verified daily for millennia to come, while surface sensors constantly monitor the last days when the crypts will be open and all souls will be free and sent to heaven. Good old religion and prepping. It's a good combination, honestly. There's a lot, a lot worse things you can do in life. All right, we have uh, Zymatics, who have nothing. Just poor people, but we'll take their drugs. Yeah, 
and we'll flip them over, I guess. Oh yeah, then they start to bleed, because <laughs> wherever you drop a body, if it's dead, it will start to bleed, even, even though these people look like they drug overdosed. <laughs> Cigarettes. I don't know if there's much in there worth, uh, I don't know if I want to use my one explosive to get in there, so. Probably really not that worth worrying about, so. I got no food to steal, so. All right. You just about saved my life. <laughs> totally did, because I've seen, we watched him die like five times. It's okay, it's okay. Everyone's okay. Hacking dance, hacking for money. 232, not bad. Problem I have in this game is I hack a lot and I don't buy enough. But I step on rats, let me tell you, that's something I'm good at. There were a couple of NSF on the second floor. I took care of the situation. What about the hostages? Doing fine. You guys can relax. Guess we didn't need that specialist after all. I was the specialist, bruh. They got an accent. We'll take it from here. It's a augmentation strength, it's fine. Yeah, because this is the same. There's a window down here. You can even sneak in there too. There's so much you can do to figure out where you need to go, um, but like it's pretty easy nonetheless. There's a lot to explore and get, so. All clear. Oh. Ammo. I'm just gonna fill up on ammo here. Ooh, don't remember that. The free clinic with no door. There's probably a million books in here that I don't need to read. I, uh, I heard a lot of shooting outside. They told me to come in here. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squalnomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Were you at Squalnomi? Yeah, it was <laughs> night. They came in with their mop to camel, and we never picked them up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't conversation between old bum and homeless either. man. <laughs> Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Yeah, and now look what they got. NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remembers Squall know me now. That's fun, okay. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Please proceed to the examining room. Okay. Who will help the widow's son? Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. The NSF are playing right into our hands. Okay. You look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300, but if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. So you can buy into the program and Never get, mind. get access to As you wish. healing bots. I think there's some stuff we can steal Not around now. here. Not now. Please. Leave me alone. Mm, yeah, I don't remember the code. Ooh, and it takes One eight of the tools, doctors too. Can help you. That's quite that's quite a bit of toolage. Oh. Little atrium. Hi, I'm in charge of law enforcement on this block. You doing alright? Yeah. They told me to come in here. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Just making sure everyone's safe. Hey, while you're at it, you ought to do something about the NSF. Perfectly good shelter. You know what they're doing in this neighborhood? Kicked us out of the old Osgood place. A bunch of us camping in the tunnels. Talk about rights, but when they want something, they take it. Maybe I'll look into it. You take care of yourself. Yeah, it's the window we, we cracked open. We go in there to sneak up on the NSF. This is a sucky bathroom. Doesn't get much better in here. I want satisfaction. We've done all that we can. It's time for you to go. This is supposed to be a free clinic. Everybody's dead. You do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. Yeah, rich people don't get great death. Don't make me call security. 
Like Mr. Billionaire, Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it. I never seen a movie star who's got it. Mm. You don't have it. Got a point. Try on the ceremony of the Innocence Party in the blood dimmed tide, lose all conviction. Brewer's phrase, I like that. Um, oblivion, pretty twisted. Time. Everything is permitted, nothing is free. Interesting. Vectors. The vectors are all wrong. I'm in agreement. Wait your turn. You should be more appreciative. Be nice. By helping you, this gentleman risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. Trust me, when there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. They say the plague came from monkeys. But that's not true. It came was from the monkeys. army. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn doctors, sometimes. Exact same uh, face. It. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for twelve hundred. That's at a forty percent discount, or a med kit for one eighty. Well, that's nice, but Never I don't mind. know. I want to throw Suit my yourself. money at that just yet. I wonder if that's a one-time thing. You are not a recognized user for this device. They have users for phones. Uh, Thomas, another week, another report. The triage situation here is getting tight. So many people with the great. With the great death and we simply can't help them at best we can give them fluids and attempt to keep them hydrated until they crash out and that's taking up space we could use for someone treatable a lot of them have nowhere to go no social support and they're creating prob problems in the clinic security is virtually non-existent a few times i've had to trank someone and drag them out onto the street secondary diseases on the rise lots of this and that i think they're shooting stuff up outside that's great we need fire extinguishers Mm, we don't need the med kits. We're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. It's fine. All right, we've talked to some people. Got more clues. There's an outdoor. There it is. Real quick. Okay, we can't break the glass. I was curious. So much reading. I'm wondering if I should not read as much. <laughs> Because <laughs> this game is so much fun, but there's so much stuff in the, in the meantime. Alice, sorry about the way things have been lately. I've been through a tough times before, and they come on like storms. When you're in the middle of one, you don't think the sunlight will ever break through again. There are some stretches in Texas when the fighting got so bad, it seemed like there was nothing but wounded people wherever I went. Not, that's all I saw, just wounds to be bandaged. This is a hard stretch, but we'll pull through all right, and we'll help a lot of people and wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to help other eyes. i got faith in you, and the rest of the staff will do it. Alred or Alfred or whatever it was. <laughs> I'm reading too quick. Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? Yeah, no weapons. Yeah, if you start flaunting weapons, I get mad. Even though I just smashed a window twice, didn't didn't break anything. So. All, right. All clear. All clear. There's a few other things to hit up. Okay, so here's the entrance to the bar, I do believe. The back entrance, anyway. Ooh. Oh, it's another account number. I can hack, thankfully, so. So we're good there. Stay out of the time, bro. Stay out of the time, bro. Oh, hey, this is an entrance to a place. Yes. Password? Open up. I'm a federal agent. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't get you very far, does it? <laughs> Open up, I'm a federal agent. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's an NSF guy, it's not even a hobo. He had a candy bar on him. Oh, that's a, that's a police officer who took out some NSF bros. I remember this. Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep that in the air. Uptown, man. They don't give you money unless Get you're out of the council. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. 
Wow, they put up no fight whatsoever. Did you see that? Yes, I... It was uncalled for. You mug people great, you need the dough. But you show some respect. <laughs> what were they after? My shoes. Especially when it's your ally. They came to us. They wanted an underground base. An underground so those guys base. were NSF? Yeah, the NSF give guns to anybody who wants to fight. A lot of people just take the guns and do what they want. So the terrorists are based in the subways? The sewers? The sewers? They need to move some kind of secret equipment. Our tunnels are like the crossroads. Tell me how to find this base, and I bet I can get the NSF off your back. Underworld. Just remember that word when you see Curly. He lets people in. Oh. Alright. We could waste another 80 minutes of this. No, I didn't. Oh, there it is. This was the biggest thing when I was a kid, dude. The basketball actually bounced like a basketball. Because everything else in this world just kind of plops down, but this is the most exciting part of the game because it would bounce. Alright, hold on. We're gonna get this message. I believe. I guess we could do a reverse, like a from the bottom shot, and it'll still count, I think. Maybe that's what we'll have to do. Come on. Oh, oh no, that's really hard, actually. <laughs> we can make a basket, though. This is possible. So close. Next manhole I see, I'm going underground, and I'm not coming up. <laughs> Gonna be mole people. Actually, that's a thing. Never mind. <laughs> Invasion of the mole men. All right, right about here is good. Yes, sign him up for the mix. <laughs> oh, this game. All right. Yeah, we got all his stuff. We got all his stuff. Now we own a basketball. Totally my ball now. And it's gone. Oop. <laughs> Stepped on it. Back off, man. Okay. <laughs> Don't mess with him. Break that open or pick it. Hmm, okay, so we get into either side of these. I need more explosives, man. Court upholds New York grid law, New World Press, in a landmark 6-3 decision yesterday, U.S. Supreme Court upheld the controversial grid zoning laws that have been subject to a number of suits since being instituted six years ago, originally passed by the New York legislature in 2046 in response to the Upper West Side bombing that killed 45 people and wounded over 100, the grid zoning laws effectively allowed the police to wall off regions of Manhattan and its surrounding boroughs. Foot traffic between these zones is prohibited, and traveling between zones is restricted to authorized subways or highways subject to police surveillance. A travesty, said Gil Treble, representing the ACLU as plaintiffs in the case. This law is nothing more than the legalization of social oppression on a grand scale. Um, Supreme Court Justice Machin wrote the favorable decision that the unfortunate nature of American liberty is the freedom is that freedom creates opportunity for terror. It is with heavy heart that I must conclude in this case that the freedom of the individual Americans must be balanced against the needs of a community to feel safe and secure. How many things can people not do or say because safety, man? Throw that basketball. All right, get around that corner. Jeez. All right. Man, there's so much going on in this game. Uh, I take time to read everything and, and talk to everybody, and it takes forever, man. At least it takes me forever, apparently. Off to one of the guys in green. You natos are running the show today. Is your mouth clipping through your mask, We've been sir? asked to direct pedestrians to the Underworld Bar. You'll be safe there. The Underworld Bar. About time these thugs came out in the open. They're their best New York accents. That they can muster. Yeah, that whole thing's going on now. Okay. The Underworld Bar. Or Tavern, excuse me. The Underworld Bar. Alright. And there's this conversation. What I'm it's telling great. you, girl. You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. 
And when it's JoJo and it's something he wants, you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you, Howard, don't play with me this amateur, unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, Johnny. it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, it's business. I Damn. want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out, it's like a game. You get beat out. What do you want? How much to take the lady off your hands for an hour? Leave her alone or I'll have your ass picked up for pandering. You've got 10 seconds to beat it before I add you to the, NS the list of NSF casualties. We have the best lines to choose from. I don't know if I've ever asked to see how much she'd be worth. I'm actually curious on if he allows us for that. Let's try it. How much to take the lady off your hands for an hour? 200 up front and I'll hook you up. Ooh. Okay, oh, actually, oh, you can actually pay him for her. I haven't done this. Let's Deal. do it. Right on, bro. You next. I gave you the money. Now give me the girl. I said I'd hook you up. Sandra's got to go to the underground. But you wait topside at the underground bar, and I'll be there. Maybe you like Janie. I want Sandra. Yeah. Sandra. You a Janie man. <laughs> Everyone pronounces the name. You just different. don't know it yet. That's 200 credits I'm not getting back. No. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into smugglers. These, these boxes Smuggler. are containing strobe lights. Hey, you shouldn't have took down Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out. Jojo. Your father asked me to look for you. He'd like you to come home. Sandra Ray. My dad shouldn't have hired a hitman. Stupid way to get himself killed. Who's this Jojo? You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse? You think he can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks he's like supposed the to be the locked, but the door's down. wide open when And if you go there. underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You get home so your father won't have to worry. I can take care of myself. You mentioned a smuggler. Tough guy like you, figured you'd be a big customer. What's he sell? Weapons? Drugs? High-priced weapons, yeah, you should talk to him. His place is over near the subway. You have to give him the password bloodshot or he won't let you in. Thanks already, now leave me alone. All right, Sandra, relax. Right. Well, I think I'm reaching my limit, sadly. We're not getting very far. I could run past a lot of things, but playing through this game to get the full effect, you really need to, uh, you really need to read a lot of the backstory and things that are going on. It makes it way more fun. All right. So now, next time we will explore the excitement of the Hell's Kitchen Tavern. But uh, till then, uh, I think we're looking at next week for that. Um, so thank you everybody for joining me in this wonderful, wonderful adventure. Let me uh, hit some buttons here. Let me mute that out for you. Mute that for myself. Excellent, excellent. Actually, let me get this back up. Let's get everything looking okay. Everybody, again, thank you, thank you. Um, next week, next week, next week. Uh, schedule's gonna be TBD again. Um, I'm back and forth on where I'm doing what I'm doing schedule wise. Um, but for sure, the two games we will be playing though are Silent Hill. I will be playing that for a third time, and then we will be playing. No, wait, was it Silent Hill? Yeah, Silent Hill for a third time, and then we'll be playing. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Deus Ex. We're playing it right now. Goodness gracious. Silent Hill and Deus Ex. Um, I do need to get back on a marathon. I started marathon a while ago, but then it just didn't fit into all the other things I wanted to play because I wanted to get ready for Resident Evil 3 and all that stuff. So um, we will we will hook our way back around to that. Um, we will get there. Um, and I'm also uh, possibly going to experiment with streaming in the daytime just for like an hour, just play something competitive and not do as much talking, but just just screwing around in uh, a game or two just when I have time. Um, but we're going to look into it. So anyway, everybody have a great night. Uh, hope you have a 4k night. My resolution Aries, keep the resolution strong and, uh, see y'all Monday, Tuesday. I'll tweet it. I'll let you know. It's all good. Okay. Yeah!